hello hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to my youtube channel this farmer is here and uh, if this is your first time coming across my youtube channel i want to ask you in a very special way to consider to subscribe make a comment let me know what you want to think about this video and of course may you give your opinion over the subject matter and for my returning subscribers oh my god i thank you so much may god bless you so much uh, for the love and support i really don't take it for granted and uh Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, guys, uh, from the topic of this uh, video, uh, or from the title of this video, uh, guys, I've just come to, uh, it has come to my attention that uh, all that we do in front of the camera and uh, all the acquisitions that we're making against each other are really bringing a lot of uh, negative impact towards our audience and uh, there's every reason for us to reflect on it and uh, see how best you can uh, improve and change so you're welcome we are not targeting anybody here in particular um we are here to advise educate and of course encourage people to consider doing the right thing taking into consideration that uh, it brings a lot of uh, there's all manner of uh, implications uh, for everything that we do here in the YouTube streets. Now, concerning, uh, uh, actually, I'm, I'm saying so because uh, going by what has uh, affect, uh, happened over the last few days, especially um, concerning Ayam Maru and the people around him. Now, the people around him, I mean the people who he, who he has interacted with, and at the end of the day, they turned out to be his great enemies. Now, the exchange of uh, words and... Uh, I mean, the feasting that's ongoing in the YouTube streets has, uh, has brought a lot of uh, impact. And in that case, I mean, uh, even the audience, the people who watch, uh, who watch these content creators, including I am Maro and the, the, the other team, are also affected a lot to a point that you can't really imagine. Uh, this is happening, uh, this after what uh, I received uh, yesterday, as a message of uh, as a kind of a response uh, from the video I posted the, the day before yesterday and there's one of the uh, uh, the viewers who actually wrote a long message here expressing his her disappointment actually and uh, the way she has been affected going by what people are doing to Ayamara the accusations about Ayamara not paying them and uh, the, the kind of response they are making towards Ayamara, you know, and uh, calling him names and everything. And uh, uh, so according to this lady, uh, she says, uh, they are not, okay, I wish I could just have time kindly. Let me have time and read slowly through the message and uh, we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna make our own opinion over the same ways. So, Actually, she said, blessings, brother. Marwa cannot mistreat those who said he did. They were there for something else. The human condition. Some people can pair to see, cannot pair to see others prosper. The strugglers are there to dr drag him down. Something I get to understand well is that uh, a lot of poor people uh, wish him bad even, but even though he is working so hard to elevate his own people, he should keep those bad mindset people off his compound for good. I personally don't believe anything that the Ivans and Masubos of this time are saying about Marwa. They will absolutely get what is uh, coming to them. They don't uh, even, they don't affect only Marwa. Okay, this is where we want to put more emphasis because now here she's trying to express how she's been upset, how she's been really affected by what's going on, especially by the accusations towards Aya Marwa now. She says they don't affect only Marwa at this point. They are spoiling my quality of life you see they are spoiling my quality of life marwa is uh, transforming people's lives inspiring both young and old people 
Those people cannot bear to see him succeed. They are dra they are dry. Okay, the day is coming. I promise. I promise you that these haters have affected me and many others. Guys, are you listening? These haters have affected me and many others. May God spread a temple for him in the presence of all his enemies. When God has his hand on someone, be careful how you approach. Marwa. Now this is a special message to Marwa. Marwa, this is two this too will pass. It will become a lesson learned. Just ask God to direct your steps. Stand still and let God fight for you. I am teased. I am, I am, these people cannot stop you, Maro. Okay, I think this is the point. Uh, that uh, just ask God to stand with you, to stand still and uh, let, let God fight for you. People cannot stop you, Maro. That's the, the message. So guys, as you can see, as you can hear from this lady, um, you know this perhaps someone who has uh, been watching Maro for a long period of time and according to her she believes that Maro has really brought a great change to her to his community to the village and uh, okay it's evident it's evident that uh, we can see you know it's something that you can see you have seen the change he has brought to uh, especially through the I mean, to different homes, we have seen the changes in terms of uh, infrastructure, infrastructure, the houses and everything, you know. And of course, uh, um, uh, the, 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 the support, the social responsibilities, like supporting children to go to school and all that. And uh, now, according to her, uh, people are not really seeing this. Are not, it's like people are envy of what he has been able to achieve by the fact he's just a young man so um and uh, according to her now she goes ahead to say how much she's been affected by by the wrangles by the feasting you know uh between marwa and the people around him so um now guys uh, my call is to to you my colleague youtubers especially from the village uh who are really kind of uh, fighting on the, 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 the YouTube streets. Um, well, I'm told even the kind of uh, exchanges that we're having is part of content and uh, out of it channels are growing and uh, people are earning. But I want to ask you guys honestly like are we really taking into consideration what are the negative implications of whatever content that we are making and uh, if it indeed it's content because I'm told that's what that, that, that's what uh, other people are saying that's their opinion that you know what uh, whatever the exchanges are on the YouTube streets that it's just basically content it's content and uh, people are earning a lot of out of it. Uh, so my, 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 my question to you, are we really taking into consideration the effect towards the audience, the people who are listening? And uh, are, are we imagining, you know, this is a, a clear example of what's happening here. Are we, are we aware that we are affecting, our people, many people are being affected by what they are listening from the village? The, the abuse, the abuses, and everything, you know. So, as much as we are making content and we are trying to get money out of YouTube, my call to you all, guys, is that let's consider the type of content we are making, uh, because uh, I mean, failure to do so, uh, we are losing from put in. We are affecting our audience out there. At the same time. The relationship that we had for YouTube in the villages of uh, of, uh, of our country here in Kenya are being affected so much 
Yeah, so um, like uh, we are tarnishing our relationship at the same time, we are affecting, we are socially diminishing the well-being of, of our audience out there. So my call is that if indeed you have issues with uh, a fellow YouTuber, look for a proper way, look for a proper means, look for a better way of uh, approaching this person. You can even sign someone in to represent to represent you on your PF, and uh, you can uh, I mean you can air your views in a different way, in a proper way, and uh, at the end of the day, if there are wrangles between you. I mean, you are able, you will be able to at least sort out the issues and in a in a, in a harmonious way or in an amicable way, and without really affecting our audiences and even the relationship between we the YouTubers in the villages. So, thank you so much, guys, for for listening. I'd love to hear from you what's your opinion over the same. And under the comment section, of course, what's your advice to, to the YouTubers, you know? Uh, some of them, uh, they are really aggressive, of course, like Farmer Isa, you know, we need money, of course. That's why maybe I want to ask you, don't skip the ads, guys, because that's the only way I believe I'm going to earn. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't, uh, I mean, what's, what's, your, what's your opinion over the same? Can you, can you drop a, a comment and advise the YouTubers from your Buanze? How we need to, I mean, approach the rankles, like when you, we are not in good terms. Can you advise us how we need to, because some, 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 some audience, some part of the audience actually, are like, Fama Isa, is that how you do things in Africa? You just fight one another for no, even for no good reason. And so that's how you do things. That's the African way, guys. Uh, I'm here to clear that, to clarify that. That's not the African way. Uh, it's just individuals, you know. It's some some individuals trying to, you know. Uh, that's how people. Okay, some have just chosen that path. It's not an African thing. Um, so don't. It's not really. We should not really generalize it as the African way of doing things. It's few individuals have just chosen to go that path or for that route and uh, well but that's why we're here to at least advise and correct them and uh, I know at the end of the day we're gonna follow the right path so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate may God bless you so much see you next time